Oh, hello. Welcome to another Tabletop Impulse video. Short one today, I promise. Um, we're going to be talking about the prices for Kill Team Into the Dark and why we should all be pretty pleased that it's weirdly cheap for Games Workshop. I should qualify that statement for Games Workshop. Um, so the prices have come up. So for those of you that don't know, you can get the prices reasonably easily if you know where if you find the games workshop retail website basically there's a website for all the friendly local gaming stores that stock games workshop stuff and they put out this spreadsheet on mondays i didn't expect it would come up today um because it's a bank holiday public holiday here in the uk uh so i wasn't checking but i saw other content creators have put this video up so i thought oh, better put my version of the same video up um, before watching that, so I don't necessarily just steal their talking points, right? Um, so, let's have a look. Kill to, kill zone Morrock, so this is the terrain, remember? And the terrain, you're looking here for UK, our UK retail. So the Games Workshop retail price is going to be £67.50. That's a really good price for, this is the terrain from the Morrock box. Like, that's a really good price, because consider, they have this product currently on the web store... Uh, Battle Zone from Terrace Nackman. Now, don't get confused. Games Workshop have been really annoying about this. In 40k, this terrain is called the Nackman terrain. As kill teamers, we think of the Nackman terrain as the Sector Mechanicus stuff. But in 40k, this is the Nackman terrain. We think of it as the Morok terrain. But now, for the same price as this Battle Zone Fronterist Nackman, you could get two boxes of Kill Zone Morok, which would be the same terrain, right? You get the two boards, you get the two um, hab thingies, you get the two sets of walls, but you'd also get two of these towers, two of these towers, and two landing pads for the same price. So it's a really nice price, a really good... If you're looking to get into this terrain, because you really like it, you really like Dawn of War, maybe you want that Dawn of War style look for your 40k board, I reckon this is going to fly off the shelves to 40k players. Whether or not the Kill Team people, I think if you wanted the terrain for Kill Team, you probably bought the box, and if you didn't buy the box, probably weren't waiting to buy the terrain later for, for Kill Team, but I think this will be really interesting to those, those big hammer people that want more uh, Morok terrain. It's a really nice price for that. Um, and then we got the teams, the Phobos Strike Team, the Bloodied, the Euclidean Star Striders, and the Gelapox Infected. So the the Phobos and the Gelapox are at the slightly more expensive price of uh, £40. So that means they are basically paying the, the Space Marine tax. So I've spoken about this before on the channel where I looked at the full product range and the price of everything. Um, some kill teams are more expensive. Apart from commandos, leave those to one side for a minute. They either come in at 35 and pathfinders, leave those to one side for a minute. Everyone else comes in at 35 or 40 pounds. And the ones that are 40 pounds are those ones that are the big 10 marine, where they had to give you 10 marines, um, and then you only use six of them. And the reason they're more expensive is because the boxes of Marines for 40k are at a certain price point relative to how many you need and their relative price in 40k and their value in that game. So Phobos are paying the Marine tax. Fair enough. Um, Gelapox are 40 quid. If you look at how many Gelapox you get, you're getting far more Gelapox infected in a box than I think you're going to be able to use in a game of Kill Team. Like you're getting a box of plastic, a big, big box of plastic there. So I think £40 is fair enough for those as well. Uh, it's great to see the Euclidean Star Striders and the Bloody though coming in at the standard £35 uh, price point. That's great. Um, just in case anyone else is, worrying, is, is wondering about this spreadsheet, GBD, this is the price that your friendly local gaming store is paying Games Workshop for, um, for these things. Okay, so your friendly local gaming store is going to pay, you know... £36 for its box of Morok terrain and it's advised to sell it for 67 50 but it can it can give any discount that it wants, right? Uh, this is interesting, it's something I'm going to talk about in a minute, okay? Uh, we've got the commodity code, which is meaningless to us. Country of origin, so I know people often wonder where are they print their books these days. We can see here the annual and the Morok book are both been printed in uh, China. That's what CN is for. Everything else is being made in Nottingham, um, in, in the UK. Okay, and then we've got the weight and the volume, which we don't care about. But anyway, 
So, good. Um, and then the Into the Dark box itself, 130 That's a fantastic price. That's only £5 more than Kill Team Morok. And considering how much more you're getting than you got in Kill Team Morok, um, you're getting um, a core book, a core rule book. You're getting the cards, okay, which I think are they 10 or £15 separately. You're getting the Kill Team Essentials pack, which is another sort of £12, £13 separately at least. So that's the barricades, the measuring gauges, and the cardboard counters. So you're getting a lot more on top of Morok, which in itself I think had less plastic in than Into the Dark is going to have, for a fiver. That's not bad. Now looking at the other way, Morok was the same price as Octarius. So you are paying £5 more than Octarius as well, because there was a price hike in there, wasn't there? Because Octarius came out at 125 and then Chalnath was cheaper, okay, much cheaper. Uh, and then and then Nachman was a bit more expensive than Chalnath, but still cheaper than Octarius. And then Morok came out, and it had gone back up to the to the um, the Octarius price. And now we've got we asked for another five pounds. So you might not think it's that fantastic, but I was personally predicting it was going to be one fifty five. Uh, so I'm £25 better off than I thought I was going to be. And I've seen other people on discords and things saying it could be as high as 180 So I think 130 is a great price for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that price. I think that's great. Um, yeah, it's only 5 quid more than Morocco, which considering there's been a price rise by Games Workshop there, considering they've had their big, the economy's in the toilet, Brexit, cost of living, everything else, price rise, inflation, that's happened. For it to only have gone up £5 over the last starter set and the last kill team set, that's not bad. As long as they hold... Now, it'd be interesting to see, you might expect the next book, the next box that goes down, goes back down by £5 because it doesn't have a core book or the barricades or all that stuff in. It'd be interesting to see the next one stays at that 130 and maybe this one's a bit of a lost leader. But even so, I wouldn't say 130 was a bad, a bad price. I'd love it to go back down to 125 though. Um... What else have we got? So we got the books. They're unchanged at 27.50. I thought they might sneak them up to 30 quid. The Warcry ones got snuck up to 30 quid, but they're staying at the Kill Team price of 27.50, so that's great. Uh, and then the only thing I wanted to flag up to people, we got a couple of Black Library novels here. Skip over those because I don't really know. Um, the organised play kit for um, Kill Team. Just to bear in mind that if your friendly local gaming store picks one of these up, these organised play kits, um, to get people in the door, it's costing them 50 quid, as far as I can tell. Like, they're not getting it for free, it's costing them 50 quid. So it's got zero as its retail price, because they're not supposed to sell it, but it's costing them 50 quid. So if you um, if you go to a tournament, and you uh, are asked to pay a fee to go into the tournament, you can kind of work out how many people are at the tournament, you can kind of work out how much you've you paid for your ticket, and you can work out how much money that the, the stores had to pay James Workshop to send him the send them the, uh, the, the the organized play kit. Just a bit of interesting little bit of insider information there that some of you might enjoy having. Um, I need to find out. I need to go and see if are they going to be doing this. Oh, I want to play. I want to play. I want to get one of these nice acrylic. It looks like anyone who participates is getting an acrylic uh, range widget. I want an acrylic range widget, so I'll have to see if either the local games workshop, because it says retail slash trade, so retail means a Warhammer store, and trade means a friendly local gaming store. So I'll have to see if the, either the local Warhammer store or the local FLGS are getting in one of these kits, and I'll have to go down and play in their organised play events if they are. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, so final thoughts, what's this? Um, my So first of all, are you happy with the prices? Or did you, it, I have been accused of being a shill. I know, I know. Um, I'm, I'm quite positive. I'm quite pro Games Workshop. I know that some people like to be quite negative. So I'm genu genuinely curious. Are you happy about these prices? Or do you think that they um, are too high? And let me know in the comments. I, I'd, love, I'd love to know your point of view, your perspective. Maybe you think the £5 price rise over Octarius is not justified. Um, you know, personally, I think it's fine, but it, maybe you think it's a problem. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Uh, I know if most of you in a... Statistic, st <laughs> statistically speaking, most of you that are watching this are in America. So... You want the US dollar prices, and I don't have the US dollar prices. They will appear from somewhere. People know how to get them. I don't know. These are the prices I know how to get. 
the same with the eurozone prices. Sorry, lads, it's not it's not me being English and not caring about you. It's me not knowing where to get that information. It may not be out yet. I'm sure that the content creators in those regions will know how to get that stuff. Um, my store, uh, Games Workshop in Colchester, is having its store anniversary on Saturday the 3rd. So we actually are, for all me taking the mickey out of their tin, we actually are going to go down and um, pre-order there. The, the book and the box only because then we're going to get this 150 pound free extra bundle of stuff so on top of the kill team tin for ordering through retail we're going to get the badges the metal dice and the, the travel the travel cup um we've had all this stuff before because we went to the warhammer world store anniversary event and spent too much money um and got the bag and the cup and the dice and the pin badges and stuff um but Obviously one per household, so I have a mug and Mrs. T.I. has... And I have the mug and the dice and Mrs. T.I. The, sorry, the mug and the bag and Mrs. T.I. has the dice and the pin badges. So I'm excited to get some dice and pin badges of my very own. That would be great. I did ask Mrs. T.I. if we wanted to spend a little bit more to get to the £200 because it's going to come in at 157 right? Whether we want to spend a little bit more to get to the £200 mark because she wanted a bag... She doesn't like shoulder bags. She likes backpacks. So, no. But we're getting all this stuff for free as well on top of the tin. So, at that point, I guess it becomes worth paying 20% more. Because you're getting uh, quite a lot of extra bits and pieces. Um, otherwise, I'm going to sound like such a shill. But otherwise, it wasn't for the store anniversary double up thing. I'd be buying from Element Games and saving 20%. And if your local games workshop is not having a store anniversary. And you do not wildly covet the small tin thing. Then please do consider using the Element Games link down below to order your copy of Kill Team Into the Dark um, and the annual and any of the miniatures that you should choose to pick up. All right, thanks everybody. Sorry it was such a short one today. Thanks for listening. Uh, I should be, touch wood, because I've counted it the last couple of Tuesdays, I should be streaming tomorrow, so keep your eye out for that. I should be painting... The, the Star Striders, so I'm actually going to paint something Kill Team related in a hobby stream. It's a first. It's not quite a first, but it's, it's close to a first. So look forward to that as well. All right. Cheerio. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye-bye.